working independently within the organization, um, the internal audit's purpose um, is to provide assurance to our stakeholders that in pursuit of company's objectives, risks are being managed effectively, internal controls are working as intended, and the organization is properly governed. Um, so really, our purpose is to add value to the organization and to help the organization improve. And, 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 and fundamentally, I think, um, uh, enhancement or improvement is the, is the role that we play within the organization. And how, how do we do that? So, I mean, we are working in a bank that is growing, that has made acquisitions, that is, you know, diversifying into new segments and introducing new products and services. Um, so, therefore, we need to be more proactive by ensuring that when new initiatives have been formulated and implemented by Betty Business, we are part of the journey. And so, essentially, when these projects are being implemented, then internal audit comes in to say, well, let's see your development philosophy around the project. What is it that you are putting in place? You know, when you're building new processes and new systems, are you taking into account all the right controls that should be implemented right up front, rather than us waiting, you know, for things to happen and only come after the action, because then we have missed the opportunity. What well, if, when we come, after everything has gone live and we identify mistakes, and you can imagine how costly it is to try and fix something that has already been implemented. So essentially, that is the more proactive uh, approach that we have decided to take as internal audit. And, and, and having said that though, there is part of run the bank, right? Um, projects that take place and we can't ignore that. Um, so therefore, we have to make sure that for those type of business as usual processes or businesses, we develop an internal audit plan that's informed by a thorough risk assessment of where top risks sit in the organization. And obviously we develop and, 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 and finalize that in agreement and discussion with management so that our focus is well thought of, is well researched, and everybody is, 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 is on agreement in terms of where we should be going. And essentially, then that involves us having to identify those areas, and once we have identified them, we go into those areas to make sure that they've got all the right processes and controls in place to mitigate the risk that can actually um, lend us in trouble. Um, I mean, a case in point, for example, is the credit environment, as you'd imagine, especially on the consumer banking side. Um, lending or consumer lending is, is really the biggest part of what we do. And, and therefore, it requires to be more involved um, and, and, and come more often than not to actually continue to check and monitor the controls that are in place and, and ensure that they're still adequate and they continue to operate as intended and as expected by executive as well as the board. Mm -hmm.